What's going on guys? This is how we're hunting tonight. I'm up top on the Jeep, scanning everywhere. Even though we do have a night ride, new toy, this thing's pretty cool. We're with Jonathan, we got new face in the back. We got Ryan in the back. We had an insane night. We have seven pigs, six pigs in, in the back. We got one pig up front just because we don't have any more room. We got one more coyote. Um, we're about to go take some pictures and I'll talk a little bit more with y'all in a second and then we'll, we'll roll the footage. Well, I thought we were gonna go take pictures right now, but we checked one more spot just in case and we saw a coyote in there. So I tried to take a shot freehand. I think I hit the guts and using 762 by 39, terrible on coyotes, even though I did just kill one earlier tonight. Um, got lucky with that. This one, he got hit, he started running, went over a hill. I thought he died right over the hill, but I could not find him. This grass is so tall. I'm completely soaked now with all this uh, morning dew on it. So that kind of blows, but at least there's for sure one less coyote. He's gonna, he's probably dead somewhere. One less coyote for these landowners to deal with. Yeah, it's a coyote. This is what the rig looks like for the night. Of course, night ride scout up there. Phenomenal little thing. We got another pig up front. Jonathan actually just bought this little rack for 60 bucks from Harbor Freight today. Holds 500 pounds and it is phenomenal. If y'all go back and look at the other video that me and Jonathan had last spring, we took his Jeep hunting and it's phenomenal for finding pigs but we have no place to put them. So that was a great investment. Uh, it's currently 4, p or 4 a.m. on the dot, 61 degrees. That's kind of crazy because it's September in Texas. But we started the night out at 9 p.m. Uh, as we're getting the night ride ready, in the like right off the side of the road, this guy pulls up, asks us if we're okay. We're like, yeah, uh, we pig hunt out here. And he said, okay, cool, I live down the road. I asked him if he has any property he said yes, so he showed us, and we got access and killed one pig that out of that field. Um, but we started at 9 p.m., immediately got the truck stuck in some mud because it rained a lot recently, which is why it's absolutely caked. I got a little bit of footage of that. We were all caked because there's no doors on the Jeep, but luckily Jonathan has a winch. We got ourselves pulled out. Uh, what happened next? Within five minutes, next field over. Found our first uh, sounder of pigs. For some reason, Ryan's gun, he got a brand new gun. We'll show, well, I'll show you the rigs in a second. His gun had a malfunction, the light primer strike or something, so he couldn't get his first round off, but we got three down. Um, then as we're about to pick those pigs up, I get a notification on my phone saying that there's pigs at a feeder at another property. So we book it over there kill ryan dropped his me and jonathan we didn't know what we were doing for some reason but we managed to kill three um then on our way back to go pick up the first group of pigs we got on another sounder but they were like two uh they were far out luckily ryan was able to kill another one good little spotted one beautiful pig he was the only one that was able to kill it me and jonathan couldn't lay our shots down oh then finally we went and picked up the first pigs and we're checking another field jonathan goes to the gets out of the jeep touches the ground to make sure it's not not too wet to drive on he's like dude there's a coyote right there and i'm like where 20 yards in front of the jeep just runs in front of us and stops smoke him And then we head back, go check one more field, shot that one coyote, gut shot him, kind of bummed out about that, but it's okay. But now 
I'll show you all the rigs in a second and we're about to get these pigs set up for pictures and I'll roll the footage for y'all. All right, starting off with Ryan's rig for the night. As you can tell, we definitely got stuck, got the whole truck muddy. Ryan just bought his first AR, 6.5 Grendel, a Radical, shoots phenomenal. He didn't, he hasn't had a chance to get his new trigger in. So he borrowed my lower so we could have an AR gold trigger in there. Phenomenal uh, lower that I built. We have an AGM adder that uh, AGM sent me. Uh, yeah, big news. I'm actually sponsored by AGM now. So they send me a lot of stuff for testing so I can show y'all how it performs. Then we move on to my rig. We have the Rattler V2 that they sent over. This is a 640 unit. That's also a 640 unit with my OG uh, Kami rig, uh, side charging stem 6 2 by 39 with a Fat Boy tripod, which is actually a phenomenal tripod. I'm borrowing it and it's like $1,100, but I'm really considering getting it because I never thought about how serious it is until I tried it. I actually have a whole video about how to make a bog not suck, which is the whole uh, ball head with Arca Swiss. And I thought like that's gonna be just as good as a thousand dollar tripod. I was wrong. I'm gonna have to do a comparison video with these two because that is a phenomenal tripod. And then we're going over to Jonathan's rig, a Radical 6.5 Grendel with a Gen 1 or V1 Rattler, also a 640 unit and did the same upgrades as me. Um, with the ball heads oh and he just got a brand new trigger tech diamond what do you think about that trigger dude it's phenomenal it performs the best that i could ask for dude it is it's better than my ar gold and i love my ar gold but yeah we're about to get pigs set up for pictures and the coyote and then i'll run the thermal footage for y'all right now while we do that you ready three two one <laughs> Han, Han. I didn't have a bullet back. Got him. I think it was. I definitely put one into that big one because. Oh, Han. Uh. I jammed. I got him that time. Okay. I got him. My he was right in front of us, right in front of us, right in front of us. Like, what? Boom. <laughs> Mine's this. We got him too. No, he's still running. Oh. Oh, he's, he's up. I'm putting one in him. He's down there. There so nice. So it is currently the next day. I'm back in my room working on editing this YouTube video for you guys. We went to bed at about 7 in the morning and I woke up at 9.30 to go to church. Just got back, so I'm working on this video. I'm really tired, but I'm trying to push this video out to you guys as soon as I can. I completely forgot to mention the scanner that I was running last night, the one that I had in my bino harness. So AGM sent over their Sidewinder TM35384, and this is a great scanner, especially for being a 384, it has a very clear picture. The only thing I dislike about it is that it's a 3X base mag. I personally prefer to run a 1X or a 2X base mag on a scanner just because of the conditions I hunt in. I'm hunting a lot more confined areas. I want that widest field of view possible. 
Now, I feel like this is a purpose-built scanner and guys that are hunting open fields, seeing very far distances, I think that would work great for them. Just me personally, the conditions I hunt in, I prefer a, a way wider field of view, lower base mag. Um, you'll see in the footage I'm about to show you guys, just to show you the clarity of that scanner, you'll see me, David and Ryan, not David, me, Jonathan and Ryan, set up on some pigs and it looks like we're gonna be missing these pigs but the thing is is we're not even shooting at the pigs in front of us we're shooting at the pigs to the left of us that you can't even see just because the base mag is so high we couldn't get us and the pigs on it so if it was a 1x or a 2x it would definitely be a little bit better but i'll show you i'm running it on a newer carbon fiber tripod that i bought off amazon they're usually 100 bucks but i got mine on prime day for 79 dollars build quality for the price point is absolutely insane. I'm really impressed with it. So you can mount an Arca Swiss plate to the bottom of the scanner with the regular, it's like a the camera mounting screw. It's a universal thing. Arca Swiss on there, tighten that up real quick. And that's sturdy as can be. This tripod, I'm gonna make a whole separate video about this tripod because I love it. It's almost as tall as me and I'm six foot four. So it gets really high up there. And so if I'm running a 1X or 2X scanner on this, this is gonna work phenomenally for a third person view. Just with the conditions we're hunting in, it didn't do too well, but I will run the footage for y'all to, to show you just how clear it is right now. All right, we are gonna call it a night because we still have to go to church in the morning, but we got pictures all set up. Make sure to check out the Instagram for those. Uh, all three of our Instagrams will be down in the description below, along with an email for any business inquiries. Make sure to ask any questions in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can or DM me on Instagram. Very responsive on Instagram. Big shout out for jo to Jonathan for letting us use the Jeep. This thing was amazing. Um, Quick look at that, that coyote. A little scrawny guy, but I mean, coyote's a coyote. Jonathan, do you have anything to say? No, I'm good. I got a good night. Ryan? Bye, 6'5 Grendel. Dude, 6'5 Grendel. The way to go now, especially with uh, Palmetto State Armory coming out with AAC ammo, it's like $14.99 box. So, amazing pig round, amazing coyote round. But, anyways, I hope you'll have an amazing rest of y'all's day. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow all of us on Instagram and I will see y'all in the next one.